Hello my horror movie peeps, appreciate you clicking on this video, I gotta say right off the top, this one's gonna be a little bit of a more serious video, more grounded, I'm not gonna be my jokey funny self as much. Uh, we just got the news that Melissa Barrera, our Sam Carpenter, has been fired for Scream 7 for things I don't think she should have been fired for. I'm gonna be diving into all the details about it, how I feel about it as a Scream fan, does this hinder my excitement for Scream 7, uh, what other people are saying about the situation, but it's not just gonna be about my opinion. I I want to hear from you guys as well, mainly sticking to the movie side of things, okay? You guys know, I'm just a movie guy, a movie channel here. You should not be taking any political advice or opinions from me seriously. All right, I'm the guy to go to if you want to know the Easter eggs and references in the latest Space Jam trailer, and really nothing more than that. Still though, I understand because politics is at the center of this news story, it's just going to divide people right away. I just ask that you at least try to be civil in the comments and just, again, just look at it from just a movie. Does this affect your excitement for Scream 7. All right, so today I was just browsing around, getting all excited about what movie news could be stirring up, and then an article started popping up from One Take News that Melissa Barrera had been quietly let go from Scream 7, and I was like, what? No, this has got to be a fake article, this is not real, why would they let go of Melissa Barrera? She's kind of the main center focus of these last Scream movies. And a lot of other Scream fans were like that. We were waiting for more news reports to come out and all that, and well, after a couple hours, it happened. Official big sources like The Hollywood Reporter made that announcement official, saying here, Melissa Barrera dropped from Scream 7 after social media posts amid Israel-Hamas conflict. And essentially, the reason Melissa Barrera was fired is because she is pro-Palestine. As you guys may know if you've been following the news, there is an ongoing war in Israel right now. There's two sides to it, Israel and Palestine, and even Hollywood themselves is very divided on it. And what the Hollywood Reporter specifically mentions that what Melissa brought up here and is one of the reasons she got fired is, Gaza is currently being treated like a concentration camp. She wrote in one post on Instagram story, cornering everyone together with nowhere to go, no electricity, no water. People have learned nothing from our histories, and just like our histories, people are still silently watching it all happen. This is genocide. And and ethnic cleansing. Now again, going back to my point of I'm just a movie guy, I'm not even the smartest person right now to explain to you the Israel-Palestine situation. I'm gonna let that homework go to you. Because if I'm being honest with you guys, there are aspects of the story I'm confused and I'd hate to spread misinformation or just give you the wrong idea of it. But from what I do understand of the situation and Melissa Barrera's point from this situation is she has no malintent in what she's fighting for in being pro-Palestine. I mean, just looking at the Instagram story in question, that is the thing that started her possible questioning and hire for Scream 7, where she said, I too come from a colonized country, Mexico. Palestine will be free. Now, the interesting part about this is it said it's not even the fact that she's pro-Palestine is what got her fired. It was apparently that she was making anti-Semitic comments, meaning comments that were against Jewish people. In the same Instagram post, she wrote, Israel and the U.S. bending over backwards to stop us from seeing what is going on in Palestine and controlling the narrative to what favors them. So obviously worried, so obviously hiding something. If it isn't suspicious to you, come on. And this was specifically what caused her firing because there is a stereotype with Jewish people where people say that Jews control all the media. And they felt that that's what she was insinuating. Not just that, but again, if you look at her comments here, she has Israel and the U.S. You can see dollar signs were meant to represent Israel and even the U.S. US and I understand then why people looking at that are going to look at that and be like she's being anti-Semitic and again playing onto Jewish stereotypes because the stereotype is Jewish people love money. But again, I don't think Melissa Barrera is having any malintent or is being malicious with her posting here because viewer Annan makes a great point. This is the most damning Melissa Barrera post I've been able to find. They're obviously a nasty connotation with putting a dollar sign in Israel, but she also uses it for US to trick the algorithm. I tend to give her the benefit of the doubt and not being aware of the connection since Melissa Barrera is believing that posts about Israel and things like that are being censored she's trying to be clever and spell out the word that maybe would trick the algorithm thus not hiding her post she is not doing it as in mm, Jews love money so again I still understand confusing to a lot of people at the end of the day Melissa Barrera, Sam Carpenter, was fired from Scream 7 for just wanting people to be free and saying genocide bad 
that's why she was essentially fired. And that right there is just going to leave the sourest taste in my mouth going into Scream 7. This honestly makes me lose so much interest for Scream 7. I really like what the Sam Carpenter character has become these past couple of sequels. Now, I'll admit to you, when Scream 5 came out and I was first introduced to Melissa Burr or Sam Carpenter, I was one of those people going, oh, they should have made Jenna Ortega the main star. I kind of like her better. But by the time we get to Scream 6, wow, her character vastly improved. I grew attached to her so much and I was excited, thrilled to see what she could do with the franchise. We have come to a point now where Nev Campbell's character can be let go. She's retired. She's happily with her family. And if they decide not to bring her for Scream 7, I was still someone happy and excited to buy a ticket for that movie just to see where the Sam Carpenter or Carpenter sister story goes from there. But now that's not going to happen. You have now lost your main star of the movie and I can only imagine they're going to rework this entire film. I don't know if they're planning to recast Sam Carpenter and maybe just have another actress fill in that role and continue with the story they had in mind, or they're just going to drop her all together and maybe somehow try to make Nev Campbell the main star again. I don't know, but again, I don't even want to think about the possibilities because I'm like, Melissa Barrera should not have been fired for this. Like, what is going on? To me, it just hurts that Hollywood can take that away from you just for doing something you believe is right. And so many other people feel this way also i've got some people commenting here going i follow her on instagram and i've been watching her stories daily and she always made sure to include jewish voices and jewish perspectives while talking about what's happening this is actually insane and i hope those movies never recover from this another fan here says everything i've seen her post has been quite the opposite very carefully choosing her words and what she posts when covering every ground does anyone else have photos of what they're accusing i'm genuinely asking and that's really what's bothering me about this like these articles and these things that they're saying for why she's fired they're making melissa burr seem like she's a terrible person not one single person on the internet was calling for her to be fired this was all the studio's decision i didn't see any petitions outcries or hashtags going about about fire melissa barrera and this wasn't even the only star that was let go of things for being pro-palestine susan sarandon was also let go of her management team because of this heck as i'm refreshing this another person in the industry was hit by this saying earlier this month maya dakai was removed as co-chief of the motion pictures department at C CAA for posting about the genocide happening in Palestine. She was allowed to remain an agent, especially after Tom Cruise made it known to the agency that he stood by her. That is what is insane. You got people coming on the internet saying genocide bad and Hollywood's like, you're fired. You're fired. You're fired. All of this is just making me sick to support Scream 7. Like, am I going to lie to you guys and say, well, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not. I'm a freaking shill. I'm a sucker. I love Scream. Of course, I'm going to end up buying a ticket and seeing it, but it's like, this is like going to take out all the fun and excitement of making Scream update videos going like, ooh, what's happening? They added this cast member. Ooh, could this be the killer? What's my theory here and there? Just knowing what they did to Melissa Barrera, that's just going to make me so upset and sad. I really wish there was something we could do and, you know, sending our emails and protesting to Paramount would make a difference, but it feels like, you know, that effort should be put somewhere else to the real problems and since i'm just seeing this coming non-stop there might be more people getting fired or not coming back for scream 7 i saw one scooper i follow that has been very reliable with information and they're insinuating that you know jen ortega tara might also be gone from scream 7 they're saying here damn wonder how they're gonna write her out but keep tara and they say uh, about Tara. Adding a little bit more context here, saying Jenna was going to have a reduced role anyways due to her scheduling. She's very popular now, so I understand. Uh, there was always a small chance she might not be involved at all. I can't confirm anything yet, but the chances didn't get smaller. Uh, look, all I know from following the social media accounts of all those main core four members in Scream 7 is they love each other. Th that cast hangs out, they're friends with each other, they interact with each other. Melissa Barrera letting go, I would not be surprised if there is some solidarity there. If, they, if Jenna Ortega decides she's not coming back for being pro-Palestine, Jenna Ortega is also pro-Palestine. She might not want to be involved now. I don't know what that'll mean then for Jasmine Savoy Brown or even Mason Gooding. And I tell you, man, you also lose Jenna Ortega. Whew, 
There, there goes your money, man. Scream 6 became the highest grossing Scream movie of the entire franchise. And I love me Sidney Prescott. I love Nev Campbell. But if they did it without her, it's because you had Jen Ortega in your corner. And she leaves because of this. You screwed, man. You was screwed. I don't know. Scream 7 has a giant uphill battle to fight now. And you know something else I was thinking about that I didn't even want to mention? Part of me feels like the only reason they got rid of Melissa Barrera is so that there was more room in the budget to pay Neff Campbell to maybe give that higher pay to Jen Ortega. Because, of course, Melissa Barrera was going to have a bigger payday. She's the main star. She's leading the movies. It's the third film in. Now that you find this BS reason to get rid of her, it's like, oh, looks like we found the budget for Neff Campbell. We found a payday for Jenna to make her happy. Let's make this movie without her. Like, it just, again, makes me feel like Melissa Barrera was done so dark. In the end, I just want to leave it with the post that Melissa Barrera made when she obviously knew she was not going to be returning for Scream 7. She posted an image that said here, at the end of the day, I'd rather be excluded for who I included than be included for who I excluded. Catch you guys on the next one.